Hi Prashant here and in this video we will be learning about keywords right so we would not learn about how to find keywords and all that's a separate video that's an upcoming video where I would be speaking on keyword planner and how to do budget forecasting and everything in Google AdWords a separate video but for now I will I will emphasize on the fact as to what are keywords right let's jump right in right so keywords keywords you know people say it's a phrase whatever but I would say important words of your business important words of your business whose business advertisers business right who is an advertiser somebody who's investing money into Google Ads and trying to promote their website so if I have a website I want to promote my website to people searching on Google I have to do Google Ads right so and the person who does Google Ads is called as an advertiser right so this advertiser he creates an account called Google Ads account in that ads account he creates ads so when you search on Google you find ads at the top right those ads are coming from Google Ads and an advertiser created them advertiser created them there are certain ways in which an advertiser can create and Google can also create but remember they are created by advertiser so a person who creates an AdWords account or ads account we call them advertiser so the advertiser in their AdWords account they write something called keywords there's little difference, okay? I, I, I want to show this slight, slight difference between search term. Search term is entered by users. Why they are entering search term? Because they're looking for some information. So a person who is looking for some information, they go to google.com and whatever they type, we call them as search term. Right? User enter search term. Now keywords are written by advertiser. Where do they write these keywords? In their Google Ads account. Search term is entered by users. Where? On Google. So if I am a user, I want to search for digital marketing training in Hyderabad. I am looking for institutes. So I go to google.com and I type in digital marketing training in Hyderabad. And that digital marketing training, whatever I type on Google, we call it as a search term because I am searching for something. I am a user. Remember, I am a user. Users go to google.com. And the person who displays those results by investing money into Google Ads, they are called as advertisers. Right? So, advertiser also writes keywords in their AdWords accounts. Right? So, advertiser writes keywords in their AdWords account. Users enter search term on google.com. Right? So, I am emphasizing on keywords. So, important for business. So, for example, imagine I am a digital marketing trainer. I am a digital marketing trainer. So, I, I want to show my ad to people I am a digital marketing trainer and I want to show my ads to users who are searching for digital marketing training in Hyderabad or India on Google. Now again, I, I, I already told you in my previous videos, people go with the intent, they search only when they are in need. So when people search digital market training in Hyderabad, they are actually looking for digital market training in Hyderabad. And I am that trainer, I want to show my ad. And to show my ad, what I have to do, I have to create something called Google Ads. And I will be addressed as an advertiser. So advertiser creates an AdWords account. In his AdWords accounts, he writes keywords. So keywords, important words of my business because I am an advertiser. So imagine you, you wanted that training. So you go to google.com you become a user and as a user you enter something on google.com that is digital marketing training in Hyderabad that is your search term right so advertiser writes keywords so when he writes keywords he has to remember few points right there are long tail keywords there are short tail keywords if you go by the definition of these short tail and long tail keywords remember short tail keywords are generally one word or two word keywords a keyword need not be one word a keyword can be a phrase for example digital marketing training in Hyderabad is my keyword I have written that in my AdWords account digital marketing training in India is my keyword I have written that in my AdWords account because I am an advertiser right a keyword need not be one word it can be a big phrase as well right so when you write keywords you have to think these two points long tail keyword short tail keyword short tail is one word or two word long tail is something which is like five words or six words now, when, when the user search term is longer, for example, digital marketing training, it's, 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 it's understood he's looking for digital marketing training, right? But the, but the intent is also clear, but 
it would be more clear if you would type something like this digital marketing training in hyderabad now i'll give you an example imagine somebody types in digital marketing somebody types in digital marketing training digital marketing training in hyderabad digital marketing training institute in hyderabad best digital marketing training in hyderabad now do you think which one is more clear more strong more urgent the last one because his his search term is is bigger right so when you when you add keywords which are long tail you target those people who are stronger intent more likely to turn into your customers right but short tail keywords are keywords something like digital marketing or digital marketing training you'd have heavy competition but there is no strong intent because you don't really understand right so long tail keywords and short tail keywords long tail keywords is easy to rank in terms of seo short tail keywords is not easy because of heavy competition but remember long tail keywords are the ones that you'd have to bid on if you are a proper advertiser because these are keywords with lot of intent strong intent and this will get you a lot of customers and on top of that this will also have less competition right so we will learn about how to find long tail keywords and short tail keywords in my future videos right and keywords are also here divided into three types i i would say navigational keyword informational keyword transaction so i'll give you one example navigational keywords is nothing but if somebody goes to google and types something called digital marketing now when somebody types in digital marketing on google that is a search term this digital marketing is search term because it is entered by user right but you don't really understand digital marketing what digital marketing book vacancy job material institute trainer profile what you are looking for digital marketing but it is not clear as to what in digital marketing so these type of keywords where you don't really understand the actual essence or actual meaning of it we put them into navigational search so don't try to write keywords which are like this because it will get you lot of irrelevant clicks remember every click is important and you are paying for every click but if your click does not turn into conversions or if your click is not relevant you are wasting your money even before you see success you are wasting your marketing budget remember you cannot afford to write navigational keywords because his intent is not clear his intent is not correct you don't even know what is looking for if i come and tell you hey i'm looking for digital marketing means what digital marketing training digital marketing videos digital marketing material digital marketing curriculum what there's no there's no clarity so avoid such keywords now if you come to informational keywords information keywords is something like this advantages of digital marketing so if somebody goes to google.com and typed in something like advantages of digital marketing now you understand he is looking for digital marketing but is a little clear little clear than the navigational one here he says advantages but i am very sure he is not looking for training he is just looking for advantages if i show my ad to these people they might click on my ad but i'm not really sure ki if they would join my course right so search terms which help you understand but it's not something that will give you monetary value in nature we call them as information but if you can still bid on them if not today what you can do is you can try and bring them to the site and slowly convince them to become your customer in future it might not give you immediate results but it might give you results in future because looking for advantages you can bring them to a nice article which talks about advantages slowly convince them show them content and slowly mold them into becoming your customers so again this is something that you can bid on right last one is transaction now when i said transactional it is something like digital marketing training in hyderabad when i type digital marketing training institute i understand is looking for a particular institute right and this is a transactional keyword because people who are looking for such terms they are looking to join an institute that means they want to learn and they can pay me money right and remember transactional keywords are always competitive in nature so the bidding is also high for these keywords so remember when you choose keywords you choose keywords in this form you choose navigational informational transaction navigational you you don't write navigational keywords you will get irrelevant clicks informational you will get clicks competition is low but you don't get immediate success immediate results why you have to turn them because they're not mentally prepared to join the course but transactional is something that people are ready to join the course and there is monetary value involved and when it comes to transactional keywords remember you'll also have lot of competition so always try to have transactional keywords to be uh, of more importance you bid on these keywords because this is what will get you 
uh, the results and navigational you can slowly get more people and slowly mold them into becoming your customers in future right so when you choose this keyword choose these keywords properly long tail should keywords short tail keywords long tail by going with the definition the keywords which are longer in nature you will be short in nature longer keywords longer intent stronger intent and you know the clicks that you get for them may be more relevant shorter they're very competitive, expensive, and you might not really know the intent at times, right? And Google gives you a lot of tools as well. Google gives you a tool, a particular tool for advertisers to find keywords called Keyword Planner. We will discuss, or we will discuss these videos uh, about Keyword Planner in detail. I will create a half-hour video only on Keyword Planner and the other tools as well, like Uber Suggest. You have uh, Moz tool, you have WordStream uh, Keyword Tool, and and you you have. Uh, uh, you have answer the public.com or you go to google.com you search you find the similar suggestions you have instant results so many ways you can find keywords but remember first you start your journey for finding keywords through keyword planner and stay connected to my video this is what you would learn uh, uh, not in an institute this you have to learn it here and when you go to an institute you have to implement them and work on a real-time account that's why you go to an institute remember you don't go to an institute to learn these basic stuff Generally, people waste time and institute trainers, they teach you this stuff. You don't have to go to institute to learn this stuff. You go to institute to implement these things in real time. So I'm teaching all these things for free on YouTube. You can just stay connected, subscribe to all my channels uh, uh, and watch all my videos. And you would learn to become uh, an expert in AdWords and use AdWords to a way to, 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 to a level that you can use them effectively to drive more ROIs. Thank you so much and stay connected to my other videos. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.